Hey guys, it's John from John's DIY Playground. Today we're going to be reviewing this Wayne water bug pump. It's a surface mount water pump, so it just places it down on a surface and it'll pump water away. It can be mounted with the hose, a simple garden hose, to the bottom uh, side or top, depending on what kind of application you have. And I'll tell you and let you listen to what it sounds like and give you some tips and likes and dislikes about this pump. So let's get started. You can see here we're sitting in about a quarter inch of water, if that. There's not a lot to start with. You can see how it starts shooting water out the little nozzle out the top. I've seen it do that before, and sometimes it sprays and splashes water onto the wall, which I don't like, but it helps the thing prime up, I guess. And then once it's pr pumping like it is now, I can follow over to my utility room. And here we have all the water running into the utility sink. See how fast it comes out. It's pretty good flow. And that pump will run for about five minutes until I have a timer turn it off automatically because it doesn't have its own float switch. This is normal as it starts to get lower and lower levels, it'll start to kind of shoot and do bits and spurts here until the motor is starting to run dry but it can run like this for minutes at a time and it won't affect the motor it won't get hot or anything like that and here is the amount of water is reduced and it's almost dry down to a sixteenth of an inch i guess is what it says it remains the motor gets noticeably louder. All right, I've had to service this thing in the seven days that I've been using it just a couple times and it was really my bad. I was trying to open up my, uh, or clean out my um, shop vac and there was some cat hair in there. It was getting stuck in here and it also got stuck inside the impeller, which I'm gonna show you now. So. These six screws I've already pre-loosened to help out uh, speed up this video. You just undo them all six, then you just lift this thing up and off. Then here's the impeller area, and you can see there's actually some cat hair and some gunk in there now. Um, but yeah, you can clean that out, and actually what I used also was a pipe cleaner. Because there's little openings in here, you can push the pipe cleaner through and it'll come out the middle. So you'll be able to pull more things out the middle and clean it out like that. So that's how you clean this... Uh, this pump. So to wrap up, let's go over some pros and cons of what I think about the water bug pump. Um, on the pro side, I really like that it has the option of the side discharge and the top discharge. You can go either way, whatever works for you. Um, it's a very quiet pump. I think it works very well. It puts out a lot of water for the size of it and it is not loud. Um, some of the cons um, I wish it could go even lower for the amount of water it takes out, but I mean it pretty much does what it claims Which is a sixteenth of an inch of water left remaining um, It doesn't have a float switch, but I think that's fine if you use a timer um, that's been working just fine for me um, The other con I don't like how it shoots water sometimes when it's priming out the top holes um, of the case that I was showing earlier and um, Overall, I think it's a good value for a hundred dollars um, There'll be a link in the description below to purchase it on Amazon. With a, I get an affiliate link on that, so I appreciate your support. And hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And remember, hit subscribe as well so you're notified when new videos of mine come out. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is John from John's DIY Playground. Have a great day.